going everybody? Welcome to Python Lake solution tutorial number 15, threesome. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, do check my website, nianlibla.com. Um, there are a lot of projects and articles here and you can click, <coughs> excuse me, you can click lead code and you're able to come to this page. Um, you can find the solution and also can vote for the question here. So let's have a look to the question. So um, this is actually to find a three sums added together. Uh, if the three items added together equals to three, uh, sorry, equals to zero, then we just uh, return that uh, list. And we have a lot of lists here, but without any uh, reputation. So yeah, let's have a look to uh, the algorithm of it. So um, the first area here, as we can, the first list here, as as we can see, um, is actually the, oh, sorry, is actually the original um, list. And first of all, what we're going to do is we first sort it to another a sorted list. And the reason why we do this is because if we just use um, the brutal rule to just do them one by one and do the, all these um, options then it's actually the complexity is actually the big L of n square and that is actually not really efficient so what we are helping is like for example we want to reduce this to n square the complexity and the result will be much better so uh, first of all we just sort, it, sort this list to so this new list um, then what we are going to do next is we point um we will have three pointer um logically not not the point but here I just use pointer since it sounds more intuitively so uh let's say i j and k so if this um the index of i j and k and their corresponding value added together if they equals to zero then first of all, we're going to append um, this stuff to our uh, result uh, list, for example. And what we're going to do next is we just um, stay uh, to make sure that the i is still here. And um, the i move forward one time and k also move forward for one time. But, sorry, move, move backwards, sorry. But here, just make sure that if there is a sum value here, then we have to push another time since um, we have to make sure that there is no uh, reputation and after j is for example uh, greater or equal than k then this i iteration should stop and i move forward however the same thing here is the i uh, if the next value of i uh, of the item with index i is the same as i so that is these two cases. Then we have to move i forward again. And if there is, let me clear it. If um, the j and k added together, and that is uh, smaller, for example, smaller than k, uh, sorry, <laughs> smaller than z zero, then we have to make sure that j goes up. Since right now the i is focused and um, the j and k added together is smaller than a certain value so we have to make sure that um, make sure that um, the value with j with index j and k added together will be larger and in that case j should be moved right um, sorry j just plus one and the same logic if k if the uh, j and k added together uh, is smaller than uh, is greater than one then k should be smaller Okay, so let's take a look on how to write a code on that. So um, I've put um, the class solution here and also um, um, initialized the, the variable here. So later on, when we finish our class, then we are able to uh, testify our um, solution. So first of all, um, our nums should have sort. So we just sort our nums. <coughs> And um, next we have a result that is our um, list. So every time when we have, um, when we want to append uh, a list, 
then we just append to results. And um, next, what we are going to do is we just um, for i in range um, length nums. And here we need to minus 2. Since i is the first index, uh, there are two other different, uh, that is j and k, later I will show you. Um, there are other two larger indexes after this, so we have to minus 2. And um, if i greater than 0 and uh, nums i i minus 1. So the reason here is first, um, if if this happens, then we have to continue. And the reason why is because of this. So first of all, uh, if it comes to the next i, that is after um, our iteration afterwards, um, if this is equals to uh, the previous one, then we have to jump it since we don't we don't want to see uh, any repetition. And for the reason why i must larger than zero is because uh, we don't want since i the initialized i value is zero, and we don't want to see okay our first um first value then just if we ha don't have this one, then i will not equal to 0 anymore, and if this exists. So we don't want to jump on uh, that case. And, um, well, o and j, that is equal to i plus 1. And also k um, is the length of nums and minus 1. Every time we initialize it, um, while j is smaller than k, that is our case here um, and we of course we can have a temp temp is actually equals to um, nums i plus nums j plus nums k and if not temp so if temp is zero then of course first uh, we're going to Result append our um our hero here. Um, and just to make sure that this is the least, don't get confused. And um wow nums j equals to nums um, j plus one then on um, j plus equals to one just avoid all kinds of um, reputation and uh, send for k and here is k minus one since k at the first beginning is at the bottom at the rear of the least k minus equals to one then j plus equals to one and uh, k minus equals to one Else, if um, temp is greater, okay, smaller, <laughs> then we have to increase the value, and in that case, is j um, plus one. Else, k minus one. Um, that is the case. Um, everything should be fine. After the for loop, then we just return our results, and let's see what happens here okay cool so this is exactly um, the result that um, we would like to see here okay so let's uh, analyze the complexity here so um, for the first here is i j and k so for the first iteration i is 0 k is n minus 1 and j is 1 so next iteration is 1, 2, and uh, um, n minus 2. Oh, still n minus 1, sorry. Um, and in this case, there are total how many, uh, let's say, iteration, sorry, um, um, operation. And uh, here, and we just consider the worst case. The worst case here is we just ignore all this stuff, and we just uh, know no equal part, and we just go this part. So every time it's just one by one, so that is 
m minus 1, minus 1, and here is m minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, and so on and so forth. Uh, here, m minus 1, minus 2, m minus 3, and this is 1. So if we add all these operations together, that is the worst case, then it's actually a big L of n squared. Uh, one thing we also need to pay attention here is, is we also use a sort function here. And sort function is actually the complexity of big L of n log n. So if we compare these two together, um, then we add them together, then we take the larger part, that is big L of n squared, and that is much um, much more uh, simpler, or you could say more efficient, compared to our brutal method, that is big L of n cubed. Well, I think this is the end for this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to have another um, that is used to use that is to use a four to find a four sum of a list, and that is also another um, question um, to the lead code. All right, thank you very thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you in the next tutorial.